Welcome to another video we will be exploring the newly released model from the XAI team called Grok led by Elon Musk and we will start with how to actually access this Grok now the first way to do that is the easiest and first way is to actually subscribe to X which is formerly known as Twitter and you should get their premium plus subscription so if you want to confirm if you're on a subscription and you want to confirm if you have the premium plus already the easiest way to do that is to navigate to your twitter profile if you don't have a profile you have to create an account then you select the more click on settings and privacy then you come here and you would see a premium tab so if you select this tab you see details this account doesn't have any premium related subscription so what gets shown is like a detail of specific premium subscriptions available and the premium plus is slightly more pricey than the premium one so they are like three to four buckets of subscription once you subscribe you can have straightforward access to grok3 there's also a direct site which at the time of this recording is currently down and it's not yet available to users in europe it's just currently available to folks in the us so it might take some time for you to completely roll out to like other regions uh, that those are like the two major ways to quickly get this you can also download the app on ios and you can download it on ios just to get the actual mobile app and try it out but the fastest one from what uh, people are saying was the ones uh, people on the premium are saying that they are having quite some good experience with it so that's like the ways to access that and let me know if you were able to access the grok web the Grok website itself let me know if that worked for you now back to the features of Grok what has been the first about and what are the major things so there are like three just three major areas that was majorly demoed from the Grok demo that happened earlier today and there are three parts one of it is the agent parts then we have the two types of reasoning so one is the think mode and one is the big brain and we would go through the demo just to touch on these areas and how these areas are going to play out over time so this is the demo and starting with how they started was just a bit about history and progress over time we would just watch do a little bit of explanation and show the important parts as to what exactly is crop 3 all about so i get uh, ak trips on average this is just showing the brick like preview or backstory of how you know the models have improved over time and where they are where they have started from and how they are also improving their own model over time and uh, they're just talking about how things are moving at great speed and the compute and a lot of other history at 80 percent efficiency more like 6500 effective uh h100s training for you know several months but now now we're at 100k yeah that's right. More than 100K. That's right. So, so what's the next step, right? So after Grok 2, so if we want to... So the first thing is the performance. It's checking the performance of how the model is currently doing. That's one of the easiest way for them to show data is to show the benchmarks and show how their model is performing. And Grok topped a lot of the current models out there. And you can see them showing benchmarks. You can also take a quick look and we would see that they were also showing that uh, across the chatbot arena and other benchmarks available grok is consistently performing better which is the case when a newly released model just come out and let's take a few look minutes to listen to what they have to say categories on general mathematical reasonings on general knowledge about stem and science and then also on computer science coding so amy uh, American Invitational Math Examination uh, hosted, you know, once a year. Uh, and if we evaluate the model performance, we can see that the Grok 3 across the board is in a league of its own. Now, going to the next feature will be Think Mode. So when this is part of them showing some of the reasoning features they have in store, and one of it is called Think Mode, which is them showing like a their model going through the thinking side of things the reasoning when it's given an actual prompt and we will be going there now just to see how that works so these are like the three major features they were majorly talking about deep search think and um, the big brain and there is them and that requires just them going through 
just like a simple view of them using think mode and how this actually works. Um, no, some physics that Grok will have to understand. Um, so we're going to challenge Grok, you know, come up with a Bible projectory or calculate it uh, and then plot it for us. So we, so we would look at the results, some of the results, it thought for like 19 seconds, came up with a good answer and the answer was pretty good. And not that bad at all. So the end. And it could also do some mathematical stuff, which is great. Now the other part is advanced reasoning. They went a bit further pushing it with advanced reasoning, mentioning the fact that, yeah, it's a bit dicey, but they wanted to build a game. So they made a prompt asking the model to use all these game modes. Uh, to creating this game, that's create a game. And this feature actually takes a good amount of time and it's compute intensive. So definitely I believe the prompts will be limited to maybe 10 or 15 and it took a good amount of time before it came with the response, which we would see. And the draws. Um, yeah, let's, let's see what Buck comes out. Like, I, I played the game. It's pretty good. <laughs> so you see thinking hard, saying, hey, I, I'm currently trying to think up and come through with the best possible ways to say this. Wow, okay. This is open. Yeah. Um, so while... So let's go back to see the outputs of what this model is actually to come up with and one way to see that is they actually will start with the think mode. We would see the output of the think mode where it came up with a solution to a physics really only one way and the thing, but they were and able to get the output. It produced the code to solve the problem and the, this was the result of the code. The green uh, ball is the, the vehicle that's transiting through the space. So it worked really fine. It solved the problem and there wasn't any errors on actually running the code. Definitely this is a demo. There are some bias there, but like it did work fine from the demo. Let's take a look at the result of the big brain mode. So nice. the code came out fine glass. from this big good, brain so, mode. But, uh, if there's still a Tetris. And this is the game. This is like the game you was able to generate upon running and, and it looks really good too. If the line is full, does it actually um, clear it or what happens then? I, I, it's up to interpretation also. There are also different concerns. One other thing is the final part of the whole stuff, which has to do with the agent side. So okay. work is like the total thoughts company now that is also releasing a deep search, which is an agent that can provide unique insight from multiple data sources. And they are also demoing their deep search. Um, see, uh, so you can see the thought pattern and what is actually being done just to provide the results. My level current right what the content, right? Really of how the current model uh you know is doing, what websites browsing, what sources verifying. So one thing they post of is they are showing the thinking steps their model is actually going through, which sort of increases the integrity. When you can see what the model is doing before it gives you an answer, it sort of builds trust and they are building on using that style. Perplexity does start, and they're also trying to do the same thing. And often I'm correct before it's output final answer. And we can, you know, at the same time, fire up a few more queries. Uh, how about, you know, you know, you're a gamer, right? So, uh, sure. Yeah. So how about what are some of the best builds, the most popular builds in, uh, uh, Perfect? You know, hardcore. Yep. They tried with another prompt also just to get another response and the response was pretty good and, um, they were both having back and forth conversations, but those are like the three major features. I would say the thing board is pretty good. The big brain will, is like a push because no one really thought of the big brain, but the big brain is a good push and it's advanced reasoning and it thinks deeper. Well, it also definitely consumes more compute and their deep research as always is to try and see how you can get unique insight from different data sources. If you're reading to early access to Gok, then sign up for. Premium Plus. So towards the end of the demo, they were just talking on how to actually access the Grog, which I showed earlier in the video. And um, and also um, we we're announcing that we're starting a separate subscription for Grog that we call Super Grog for those who are... Yep. They are also having another subscription. If you want extra, extra advanced features, definitely this is one way to get it. Those real Grog plans that want the most advanced capabilities and earliest access to, to new features. Um, so feel free to check that out as well. So this, this is for the dedicated Grok app and for the website. Exactly. Right. So, so our, our new website is called Grok.com. Yeah. And you also, you might guess. 
<laughs> Never guess. And you can also find our Brock app in the, the iOS app store. And the he pretty much showed that. And after that, they were taking questions. And that was pretty much it for the demo. It was a pretty interesting one, seeing different things and seeing Grok handling the reasoning part and also doing the agent part with deep research. And they tried different prompts. It pretty worked well. It's also available. It's a bit slow to get to folks in other part of the world, but it's currently fully available in the US. And if you want to access it, it's one of the fastest ways to have a subscription. Most of the links to the demo and um, the other part on Grok itself will be in the description below. Do drop uh, feedback if you tried Grok, how was your experience with Grok, if you're using it from a premium plus subscription, how did you find it, and any other feedbacks you have. That's it for this video. Bye.